All right, I just tried to cross this thing and it was pretty much a bad idea. I suppose it only gets deeper. Uh oh, come on. Well, because of that, we're definitely not forging the river. What is happening, guys? It's Mother's Day. It is the 12th of May, and the um, sun's going down. Just out walking the dogs. Wanted to record some quick content for you guys on YouTube or Austin Men's Development, wherever you're watching this. But I want to talk about divorced men. This has been a topic that's been going on on our call, like our Sunday call is going on right now. Game of Thrones is about to start, so we're probably going to get a dip on that. And um, when you go through a divorce as a man, it taxes you in the greatest ways, meaning that you, everything that you believed in is taken from you. Everything that you worked for is taken from you. Everything that you've done stops working, meaning the last 10, 20, two, whatever years of your life was a lie. Or it's very easy to see that. And one of the things that I wanna hammer in for guys in a divorce is that all these different thoughts going on, it's not your job to think of them right now. It's also not your job to get involved in gossip about them right now and be involved and hate about them and confuse yourself more, which is something which is very common that happens when we as men go through that divorce, especially with custody. And I, and I want you to do this. Like, if you have not watched my interview with Ryan Duguay, I know I previewed it to uh, the guys on MDX and so on, maybe you guys in the public haven't seen it yet, but uh, you need to watch that if you're going through a divorce or custody battle. And especially if you live in Austin or uh, in Travis County, because that's where he's practicing, he spe speaks specifically to that. You need to watch it. But it's very helpful for anybody who's, you know, a man basically going through a, uh, uh, a divorce. It, 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 how you need to think about it. So when we get caught in these groups, and, and you know, there's a lot of red pill research that I'm doing right now, when we get caught in groups like that, we get caught in groups like MGTOW, and all these different things which might be saying things which are very true and very helpful, they get distorted and, and our lives turn into a fantasy land or a myth, and we stop focusing on ourselves. So when you get divorced as a man, the number one thing that you need to do is you need to get good with you. You need to get good with who you are. That is what's always going to help you out. The answer to all that sort of stuff, the answer to men being victimized around the world, the answer to the courts being unfair, the answer to your life being robbed from you, the answer to the lie that you've lived in and all these different things is you getting right with you. And what you need to understand as a man is that you always have the power within you to make your life better. Life is supposed to fuck you up. Life is supposed to take things from you. Life never offers you a free pass. I mean, think about all this. This is all flooded. You know, I know how this works and there is a natural creek river that goes through here, but sometimes, I mean, I'm going to show, I'm going to show you this thing. I'm going to show you this thing. It's going to totally mess up my shot. There's trash in that tree. That means the water level to this was that high. It was 15, 20 feet higher than it is right now. Probably can't even see what I'm pointing at, but there's, anyway, whatever. Happens every time when it floods. All right, we're back. See, nature doesn't do you any favors. It never meant to do you any favors. The world isn't meant to do you favors. And the more that you think that your life has been sidetracked because of society, man, that and when you're speaking from pain, when you're in pain, when you can't see straight, that's gonna mess everything up. And so our job as men is to get in touch with our nature, which is to solve the problem, be better, get tapped into our purpose and all these different sort of things. This is something which is very powerful for you. How we do it, how we do it is we unify as a group. And in unifying as a group, we get to know each other, we work with each other, we are able to, God, man, get to know each other, be accountable, but we also work on ourselves. You know, there's programs and courses that I've made and have taught for years and they're very helpful to people. And I get it, there's other products out there and so on, I encourage you to do them. But in that, that's how we achieve our best. In all of that, that's how we become better men. And until we accept 100% responsibility for our lives and don't worry about what the world, society and so on does to us, we can't get better. See, this, your world is gonna flood, your world is gonna tear apart, your world is gonna screw up. It just so happened that a woman that you put your trust in did that to you. What can you change about yourself? What can you do to pick up what is broken? What can you do to fix? What can you do to rebuild? 
You as a man are not so weak, no matter what you tell yourself about society, you as a man are not so weak that a woman can take something away from you or a divorce or these things and you can hurt. I'm not saying you can't. I'm not saying it's about being tough and gritting through it. That's gonna be part of it. It might be crying on the ground in pain. It might be believing that everything is hopeless, but I guarantee what it will ultimately be about is that you, you, reclaim responsibility for yourself. And look, whatever you need to do to get there, get there. But that's what's important. That's how we unify here. So guys, you're going through a divorce, you're going through these sorts of problems, get with a good group of dudes. Get with the guys here. You know, look at men's development excellence. Look at something like that. Try it out. Join one of our challenges. Get inside those groups. See what we do and better yourself. Because men's development, your development, is something you can always do no matter where you're at, no matter how much money you have, don't have, no matter what your status is, no matter how much you've been shit on by society or how much you're in control of society in the world. And when you do that, man, it's a great and it's a beautiful thing. In any case, it's getting darker and darker. Light's going away. Okay, I'm out.